Have you ever wondered how your devices connect to the internet, allowing you to stream your favorite shows, video call your loved ones, or even play online games? Well, the secret lies in a technology called Ethernet. In the early 70s, a man named Robert Metcalf came up with a revolutionary idea. His invention, Ethernet, was designed to connect computers and other devices within a limited geographical area, like a building or a campus. This was the dawn of Local Area Network or LAN technology as we know it today. Ethernet was initially capable of transferring data at a rate of approximately 2.94 megabits per second. However, with the release of Ethernet version 2 in 1982, the data rate supported increased to 10 megabits per second. This was a game changer in the world of computer networking. Fast forward to 1983, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, or IEE, standardized Ethernet under the 802.3 protocol. This standardization accelerated Ethernet's adoption, paving the way for the swift expansion of local area networks and the Internet. Over time, Ethernet continued to evolve, reaching speeds of 100 megabits per second, 1 gigabit per second, 10 gigabits per second and beyond. This constant evolution has made Ethernet the go-to technology for wired network connections around the world. Nowadays, there are several types of Ethernet networks that vary based on their speed and the cables they use. Fast Ethernet, for instance, can transfer data at around 100 megabits per second using twisted pair or CAT5 cables. Then there's Gigabit Ethernet, a more advanced version that can transfer data at 1000 megabits or 1 gigabit per second. This type of Ethernet often uses advanced cables like CAT5E, which can transfer data at a speed of 10 gigabits per second. For those who need even more speed, there's the 10 gigabit Ethernet that can transmit data at a whopping 10 gigabits per second. This high-speed network uses special cables like CAT6A or CAT7 twisted pair cables and fiber optic cables, capable of covering longer distances up to around 10,000 meters. And then there's Switch Ethernet, a network that uses switches or hubs to improve network performance. In this setup, each workstation has its own dedicated connection, improving the speed and efficiency of data transfer. Despite the rise of wireless networks, Ethernet remains a vital part of our networking infrastructure. Its low-cost implementation, flexibility, and high-speed data transfer make it an ideal choice for both private residences and commercial buildings. And while Wi-Fi has its advantages, Ethernet's superior security and resistance to interference make it a preferred choice for many organizations. So the next time you're streaming a movie or downloading a file, Remember that it's all thanks to Ethernet, the unsung hero of our connected world.